Okay, next up in these end display slash off-world live tips. This is a really cool one. You can actually use the show only list from the off-world live camera to hide the end display screen from the render target of the camera and therefore render a second copy of a really nice high res rendition of your scene. Uh, so this is really cool for just getting a second NDI copy out that is replicating exactly what your end display camera is seeing but is sending it to another computer in real time. Just useful for other awesome end display slash NDI multi-computer in-camera VFX workflows. So yeah, check this one out. Super cool. There's another trick we can do with this off-world camera. Let's turn off this enable in a texture replacement here. And if we go edit project settings and go alpha and set that to allow through tone mapper, you'll have to restart and that will take a little while to recompile your shaders. But now if you set go to your capture component and create a create a render target for the camera to be rendering, you can go in here and you know it still looks still looks mucky and everything. But if we go to our alpha settings and use the show only list and set our hidden actor to be the end display config, uh, and then it's a little bit strange, but turn this off again and you'll now, <laughs> you, you've now managed to hide the end display config from the camera. And all this enables is really interesting. You still have your end display config going out here with this real time rendition of what's going on, what the camera can see. But when you check out this render target, it's super high quality and really nice. So say I select this and pilot it, I can look around and it it emits, it doesn't even see the wall. You get a second media output of what the camera's doing, still nicely tracked because it's part of the end display config, but it's sending out another nice, super high quality, lovely depth of field version of the frustum, basically. So this kind of frustum replication is super powerful. Uh, again, this can be sent out if we, instead of a receiver, if we do place actors and drag in a sender, uh, we can again do the add array element, go down and find our RT frustum NDI output. We need to set this name. I usually just copy and paste the same thing here. Set that as active. Make this active and just a test in OBS, but you can use so much stuff for this. Do a NDI source frustum output. We've got what our camera's seeing replicated into another program. Super nice. Really, so many interesting uses to be done with this uh, NDI output and texture targets.